Mercury, his tried and true on his loser side run versus the uh, surprise winner side combatant here in quite. Here we go. Co uh, regular Bears, 370, I believe. Grand Finals. Let's get into it. Already Mercury pressuring quite off ledge and one opportunity though. This is gonna be, you know, explosive combo match for both these players here. As we saw in previous rounds, I'm sure. All depends on who's quicker on the trigger finger, because we also did see Greninja in the hands of uh Keith just a moment ago. That's I'm, right, I forgot I gave him the watch. <laughs> I'm sure they did they do a uh, Greninja Ditto in their... Um... Oh, yeah, they did. Okay. Uh, only when they got to uh, game three, though. Gotcha. And then... Because I know he went uh, PT for most of it. Used the double Shadow Sneak to fake out Mercury there a little mm -hmm. bit. Ooh, that was a risky little ledge get up. I mean, he showed his hand pretty hard, so... Still with Arsene just ebbing away. Oh, Arsene's finally. gone now. Mm-hmm. I think knowing how he's been playing, I think Quite's going to try and use this opportunity to get his... Okay, I was going to say get a kill, hoping he would get a kill at the same time, but uh, Mercury ruined it. I mean, Greninja don't need a whole lot, especially against Joker, who is, you know, very, very scrawny, very light. And uh, with the uh, platform setups that we did see um, Quite get against, like, Bonk and things like that, even Water Shark can down low off stage, able to clean it up. And uh, keeping it tit for tat here, and especially with that jab lock! Huge swing, huge damage, but watch this Arsene, you have to clean up before Mercury's gonna surge back here. Or maybe you're gonna get shut down all the same. Just and it's Arsene, so we know it's gonna happen. Yeah, I mean, you think people would just let up on the gas pedal a little bit when Arsene shows oh, up, no! and that is exactly why! He rips the uh, driver's seat, uh, the, uh, the, the wheel right out of your hands, just like that. While the police officer walked up to your window and did license <laughs> and registration, he also ripped the door off. <laughs> he just peeled like, out. Jesus. <laughs> like he is no longer asking. That was good from that was good from Quite though. Absolutely, yeah. He's not out of this yet. Quite not I by mean, far. I mean with uh Arsene up, Quite is being very fearless, and that's what you have to do to uh, especially enhance a Mercury, that's what you have to do to keep it toe-to-toe. -to -toe. So much respect for him, recognizing, you know. You can't fall into the trap of, uh, uh, you can't be too fearful of the Arsene back Joker. Uh, if you want to, you know, you're on winner side grants, you obviously want to shut it out in three wins. You don't want to give Mercury any more opportunities to adapt or to learn your play style. Because, you know, he is a PR player. He can absolutely take this away from you in six games and not even break a sweat. Uh-oh, here it is. Arsene's coming in. For sure. Like What's going, going on? So low. No, I knew that was gonna happen the yeah. moment he grabbed the ledge. I mean, and it, he had one. He had plus 100 on, so like he did need to try something a little cheeky. Even though he was with Arsene, you know, full recovery would have uh, mitigated that a lot. Pick a good song. I do. I still, even though that went Mercury's way, I do like the fearlessness from Quite. Come on. There we go, Sonic. But rock revitalization here. Yes, we go. Play bait, break through it all. Come on. Support it. Okay. I mean, it's it, it's a subdued, chill hit, I guess. I Compared to what other, you know, other, other songs are out there. I have Sonic Frontiers at home. I have yet to play it, though. I've, I've heard good things. I haven't played it myself, so. I... Open world game about a speedster. I think I'll enjoy it. Mm. We're going into game two of Grand Finals. And Dear okay. Lord! Okay, <laughs> so for those of you who are maybe just tuning in or just got here, this is Mercury. He likes to cook if you let him. He has drag down combos if you weren't aware either. Simple jab just stops that zero to death, but quite. Uh, quite, especially with that dash attack, quite can't find his follow up. I can't find his footing either. Just Mercury has just been in control of the entirety of the stage. Quite has just been there fighting we go. to get some back, and he finally has, you know, some potential. Found here. his footing a little bit, but then he slipped. 
full stall out. Yep, great uh, recognition here from Quite. Great, uh, speaking of recognition, not dead yet. yeah. Oh, I like the attempt with the Hydro Pump. Yep, stall out with the up. Uh, and he's dead! Oh, what he's a dead. catch! Holy crap. Fruit Ninja coming in, stabbing those uh, those fruits on the shuriken and having a very hearty uh, little lunch there. Oh, we get to get the rope. <laughs> Dude, mm -hmm. okay. I need to tell everybody in Jazz that when I think about Joker, I always want to call his thing... I always want to call it... I know it's Rebels Guard. Yeah. But I always want to call it Royal Guard because... Because it of makes Devil, a May, more Devil sense. May Cry. Yeah. I always want to call it Royal Guard. And, and I have to remember, Funny Wahoo Pizza Man and Joker are two separate characters. I mean, there is such a thing as a Royal Guard in, like, real life, too. So, I, I totally see where you're coming from. The, uh, the guys out uh, in front of, uh, Westminster. The, uh, the guys in the big, tall, fluffy hats. Life and I can't remember their names, but... Oh, we're getting the more up airs. Yep. There it is. And yeah, no guard needed for Joker. He is a one-man army right now. <laughs> Speaking there anything you can do, I can do better. Uh, trying to get something started with an up air chain. Just the, the name of this grand finals is not even, you know, the uh, the players' names or anything. It's just up air. I'd like to say Quite is quite unique when it comes to his playstyle of Greninja. Sure, he does what everyone else does. He does, like, the up smash confirms. He does the dragging up airs. But something of the, like, there are two things he's done so far that I've noticed that no other Greninja players oh, do. <laughs> he tried to get cheeky with the hydro pump angles, but... I respect the attempt. Yeah. I've noticed, exactly like, saying. like, for instance, like, he uses down air a lot, and it was... He, no. Oh, we lost our set. Yeah, in the nick of time. Okay, I'm gonna wait till this game is over to say what I want to say because I feel like I keep interrupting these parts. I mean, you were elaborating on, you know, that and that's that's fine. So, but yeah, counting his lucky stars is uh, quite right now, even though he is off stage, still fighting. To get I do back. think Merc is in a little bit of a disadvantage here, though, not having Arsene, and they're near equal percents. True, true, true. He can still kill him just fine, but Arsene would really help him out here. He's happened here and now. Oh, good air dodge. Air dodge. And again, a reversal grab, too. Oh, like if he had Arsene, I think he might have died. Mm. And we have seen we have seen Joker clean up stops without Arsene with the smash stacks as well. And if Quite is going to gravitate toward the left or right side of the stage to take out, one whiff and Mercury is just even more poised to do it! Mm. Okay. <laughs> that took the wing out of uh, uh, the wind out of a lot of people's sails here. Okay, now that yes. now that that's over. Now that we have thing I've debate. noticed with Quite's game, Quite's gameplay is throws out a lot of down airs, which normally Greninja players never use. But I see him using it for momentum. Yeah. And most importantly, why didn't Mark just peek back here? <laughs> I didn't. I don't know. I I didn't even hear what he said. <laughs> Neither did I. Oh, I saw him. I saw him leave his chair, peek back here, and then go back. <laughs> but most importantly, I've seen him do that shadow sneak. Obviously, people use shadow sneak to get back with Greninja, but I see him then jump and do it again, and I like how he does that because, I me to me, I see that as a tool for him to throw his opponent completely off. Y while you are correct in certain matchups, I think you know, Mercury is just you know with Arsene backed as well. He's just too at home on the uh, the edge guarding prowess like we saw the double down air and then the potential triple down air that would have taken quite out if not for uh, Arsene coasting out there so I, I while you are correct in like how quite uses that to fake out I think the more time that he spends off stage is just uh, accumulating the percentage of if he's gonna lose a stop essentially against Mercury right, Arsene's on the field but quite is doing work here now here I would think he would want to let up, like, like back off a little bit and get his space. Yes, yes. You know, let Arsene ebb away when you have the clear percentage advantage. Does clean it up all the same though. 59 damage on himself, and you know a couple combos from Joker will tie this back up. But he will need some help taking out stocks after the fact. So if 
quite can get at least one or two more combos. He'd be in a, you know, a better spot here. But again, just going pretty deep for a cheeky edge guard, even though he doesn't really need to. He is up on stocks. And Mercury could have, you know, ran away with a, uh, a stock claim of his own on a, a stock revert or an edge guard reversal, rather. And now with Arsene, he could just take this out at any moment. And uh, depending on when Arsene uh, goes away, he could get a couple more licks in before uh, he has to do it solo Joker. Speaking of solo Joker, it's going to be down. Yep. Uh, we all forget that drag down up air into down smash conversion. It seems to be uh, his go-to for uh, our senseless stock claims. And even uh, trying to get platform resets with that very same up air. Just gives uh, quite time char uh, to charge ahead and get the advantage yet again in basically same situation the same situation but uh stock losses on both sides uh white was basically at uh 50 60 percent when he had the stock advantage and uh now it's 2-1 same situation but mercury you know being a bit more the aggressor putting up 92 instead of 50 or 60 percent on the greninja and an early Arsene, this could definitely uh, change the tide of battle here. But Mercury has to uh, find this one uh, opportunity to move in on Greninja and uh, claim it. As the Arsene's already nearly gone, four, a fourth of the gauge away, counters the uh, Hydro Pump of all things. But Arsene does get expended in the process. The wait, the simple wait from quite. He left to pick up the pieces mentally. How he's going to get back with a fully decked out, fully charging Greninja. The Nair will send quite out. Uh, and yep. a down smash will send him out on that uh, second stock. Oh, Merc is, Merc is close to having that Arsene. Whatever quite does, it needs to result in a stock claim. Because <gasps> he's already at 31. And uh, if... He gets hurt yet again. Oh God, Arsene's coming out. Yep, exactly what I All was. All right, quite. You gotta find this kill, my guy. Warn him about. He got it. That's death. Yes, it is. Finally, gets clutched up there. Yep, climbing the uh, the rock wall of the uh, potential regular bears victory, and he does have that first foothold that he needs to get started. Hollow Bastion seems to be the pick for Mercury. Look at that freeze frame on stream. Look at the freeze frame. <laughs> <laughs> and Mercury getting the music pick again. Hollow Bastion is going to play, you know, that house in the center is going to be... Uh, it's actually going to benefit both characters because... Uh, Shirk and Up Smash will be able to, to shark past it. And so will um, Mercury's Up Smash. With or without our sand, it's going to prove pretty beneficial. So, you know, there's very slight variance. No! Cheesing him with the guns led to a very early stock claim, and that could be all that Mercury needed to force us to a reset round, but. White needs, you know, much like uh, we saw some surprise rounds from quite before. We could take this to game five and have us all guessing. And I mean, he has to, uh, he has to, you know, go full uh, throttle here. And despite the positioning of characters, he's been trying to do that. Great parry, great air dodge though from quite in uh, response. Pressure now. Up air flurry, but quite finally using that uh, substitute to get around the uh, the gun of all things. Titan percent's not on stocks, going out pretty far for it. Does get to claim all the same, even though Tether was uh, very very close to uh, attaching. 
Great job from Quite to clean it up. And 102. See, a big mountain to climb, but Greninja can get those very quick combos, very long combos. And I could swing this right back, especially. Oh, wow. Tether of all things. Just so, so clutch. Because that could have been an SD on Mercury side, and this could have been uh, even game uh, very, very quickly. Yo, commentators, did I miss a bonk set? Hasn't bonk been out? Yes, yes, man. Yeah, bonk's been out, my guy. Went out to uh, Archangel, I believe, on, uh, uh, I think, 7th or 5th, one of those spots. Uh-oh. And there goes that down air that you were talking about. Very surprising. Yeah, that's the thing. He, like, throws it out, and sometimes it works for him. Mm-hmm. F. Oh, I thought he said F. No, he spelled out rip. <laughs> oh, he tried to lead him with the back air there. If he yeah. does that again by ledge, it'll definitely kill him. I mean, just the, the, the reaction time from Mercury, recognizing that the, the back air whiffed, and uh, he got that up air to... You know, somewhat get back on stage, even though he's still on that left side right now. Using the, uh... Full I think Merc gun. has this game in well in control, though. I mean, with that SD, it's unfortunately yes. But, yeah. uh, you know, I'm looking for all avenues. It's a good water right shuriken. Here. Oh, but it's not going to be enough. That double up E to stall just a little bit of, uh... Vertical not dead yet. Yeah. Next one is going to kill him, though. Ah, he has Arsene, though. <gasps> oh, boy. I mean, he had to. He was going to snap ledge if he went for another Hydro Pump, so. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Dash of all things. And, ladies and gentlemen, and Nine Binaries, we are in the reset round. For sure, yes. We thought we were going to get home early with how whittled down this uh, tournament was tonight, but no siree, says Mercury. Yes, he did. <laughs> And quite, I believe... Oh, Mercury's taking a little bit of a breather. And, you know, power to him because he got that reset, a reset round. Not a lot of people get the reset in Bears, so... Oh, okay. We're going to be here for a while. What's going... Oh, no. He, he got a water from the, uh, the cooler. We're good. And he didn't get one from his opponent. What a... Jesus. City of brotherly love my ass, says Mercury. <laughs> Why am I forcing that on him? <laughs> Sonic Mania, I love it. Yes. Uh, Studioopolis. Yeah. That was the best addition to the game, though. So, yeah. Studiopolis. Alright, reset round coming in. The uh, slate has been wiped clean. But all the same, we are still going to go to PS2 as we started from the first round. Let's see if anything has changed here. So far, not a whole lot. Again, we're going to see a whole bunch of up airs to start things off, start combos off. Ooh, Shuriken to stifle Mercury's advancement off stage. Very interesting there. Trying to snake around the uh, potential stock claim from Mercury, but quite just falls into it. And Mercury recognizing that forward smash. On the other side of things, though, Rebel's Guard nearly filled up. 125 on quite. But he does have a combo. The burst of Arsene gonna stifle that potential for quite. But even though he has stage control, he's just not getting underneath the platform. We saw that Merc was on platform, just get underneath it to stay, or at least to keep Mercury in between platform and yourself there. Mercury gonna go in deep. No, but Arsene just falls away, so he has to retreat back to ledge. He's gonna go so hard for that edge recovery, but again, Arsene uh, departing. 
gives quite another shot at the uh, first stock claim, which is going to be a huge momentum swing here. White fighting back tooth and nail to keep this, at least on percentages, evened up. And again, I like the shuriken. It's just a huge wall that Mercury has to get around, and if he advan uh, just you know prioritizes getting back the ledge and uh, just holds left or right, it's going to be a huge stifling factor, but not on stage as Mercury does get first stop lane up there. But no, back throw, not up throw. Okay. Yeah, he got it. Nice bait. Yeah. He really likes to do that. He likes to do the B reverse so he can get the back air. see another stock claim go with those uh, simple gun hits. So Quite's going to treat back. Fills up Rebel's guard pretty early too. You don't want to see him too early though. You do want, you know, Joker to get the weak hits so they can fall in the combos easier. And again, another uh, little side B there faint from Quite. He's starting to mix up his uh, edge guarding a lot more than, you know, simple Rar hop out and try to claim with Bear, so I do like it. And again, another B reverse, like you said, and we'll send uh, no Arsene uh, Joker on his final stock. Mercury, uh, as much as he was uh, poised to take the first round, quite seems firmly in control of the reset round here. Very quick, though, with that down air of all things, sending horizontally and claiming quite second stock. Even things right back up, and a uh, quick Rebel's Guard will feed his tank halfway up as well. So, uh, for how quick quite was able to, to uh, claim control in the flow of gameplay here, Mercury snatches it right back from him. Warno Shuriken, Arsene popped. You know, uh... Gun doing pretty effective work on trying to get a couple more uh, damage licks in, and the bleed of Aegon going to do uh, even more so to that factor. Fainting back, looking for smash attacks, quite just throwing everything out there. But now with Arsene gone, he doesn't have to commit himself a whole lot. To play a lot more cheeky with the run-up uh, shields. Try to keep Mercury guessing. Try to get him to whiff. But again, he just lets Mercury hop away on the platform to circumvent the edge guard. DBZ trade on back airs. Mercury uh, more in control of stage. Benefits from it. He's Tracks the roll in. Down smash all the same. No arson needed. We've seen it before. We will probably see it again as Mercury once again himself takes that first round. Oh, fun fact. Uh, did you know that there's one other way that Morgana doesn't appear in Joker's Taunt? Hmm. It's not just it's not just being on the stage. It's actually apparently an eight-player smash. When you go beyond four players, Morgana just will not appear for no reason. Really? Yeah. Huh. That's... I don't understand why, actually. Uh, it's interesting in the fact that I can't think of an answer to it. Oh well. Mega Mega Man music always slaps, so no uh, no complaints. Alrighty. Hey, Keith's in chat. Let's go. <laughs> Why didn't Mercury go to Collision? Because he forgot to sign up. <laughs> How rough is it when your dad has to call you out in chat like that? <laughs> He's stupid. <laughs> Freaking Jerry. Alright. Quite taking the reins pretty early here. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. He's dead now, though. All the same, that down air from uh, from Arsene Joker just, you know, it silences the whole room with how, you know, how bassy the, uh, the noise is. Yeah, 
Here we go again, just throwing everything out on this edge guard. Down air not going to provide the edge guard that Mercury wanted, but still cleaning up on stage. Still fully in control on stage, but as I said, he's not in control anymore. <laughs> Real great recognition from quite realizing that Arsene was popped out and uh, Joker was uh, vulnerable to it. All the same, just parried that simple back air. Gets a grab into this just dominance asserting control that Mercury has just found on stage. Just letting quite roam free, realizing that, uh, oh my god, the hops. Quite has to be the one interacting, yeah, especially with those hops in, just trying to bait anything out from quite all the same. Oh no. If you give him too much, though, yeah, that, that, uh, that down tilt was a little scary for Mercury. And great little extension, 40 damage, not bad. And popped on, yeah, the uh, Hydro Pump colliding with the ledge instead of snapping two. Still provides Mercury with the control on right here. You know, despite that in there, he was barely touched and basically took this right back to even. Oh my god, yeah. bro. I mean, he's doing it a little too often. It helped him in that, like, the middle position of this entire set. But now Mercury's a little too aware what of it. Wow! Happened? One hit of back air. Very, very smart from Quite to try to get that, uh, that hit. But his down air is not like, uh, Joker, so he's going to let up on that edge guard. Doesn't have to let up on stage. Finally in control. Yep, Joker. You know, counting down the minutes where this stock will go down. Simple run up. Now trying to get the jab lock, but still getting locks all the same. Getting these combo locks in. Trying to just accumulate damage because, yeah, that whittled down to nothing there. 185 at that last hit. Huge up smash though that basically uh, even up percentages. And the substitute! Watch out again. I think he just hung out a little too far off stage and now he had to get back with Hydro Pump too deep and Mercury was in control, but. Like if I were him, I wouldn't be playing like this, especially now that he has Arsene. Absolutely. But maybe he's feeling confident here. Oh, Third what are you doing? Age. Third of the gauge was all he needed, and uh, with that reset uh, round we saw before, he is now up 201 away from getting the Ted S final swing win. Mercury gets rehydrated, quite recollecting himself, because much like Keat saw in losers finals, he has to get a potential 3-2 oh, swing his way. What do we got? What? Oh, that's so sad. They were about to play Marvelous Capcom music. That's so sad. The music <laughs> in that game is absolutely fire. Oh, yeah. Especially uh, 2. Oh, my God, 2 is yeah. the trendsetter. Marvel 2 is also amazing. What is Mercury doing? I haven't played Marvel 2, but I know well, it's like, amazing because it doesn't have Virgil. I thought Mercury... Wait, what? My first mistake... My, brain had my first mistake was thinking Mercury was better than this. My brain had to, comp <laughs> my brain had to comprehend for a second that he switched characters. I mean, I don't know, Mario's still a pretty solid character. I mean, yes, but like, you've been running a train over quite with Wha your main. Why not just keep it up? Oh, sure. my Sure, I guess you can run God. a train with anybody when you're, when you're Mercury. <laughs> Mercury doesn't matter who the conductor is. Doesn't matter who the conductor is, Merc owns this train either way. Yeah, Mario wears plenty of hats. Who just, who knew that one of them was a conductor set? I, I hate to say this against Quite, but let let him let him win. It's Mario Day. Oh uh, well, come on now. That's uh, that's, that, that's favoritism uh, at least. <laughs> at least yeah. I'm making it obvious. <laughs> I, I'm 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 making it apparent. Yeah, I'm bring, I'm bringing it to the forefront. Purple coins. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh, just fell oh, out of the second as hit. As someone who used to main Greninja, there is no greater pain than people slipping out of that up smash. Mm -hmm. 
There's literally no greater pain, yeah. especially when they would have died at the percent that they're Absolutely. at, like right now. Mario, it yeah, hurts. For sure. Down. Okay, he's just too bold right now. He's just gonna up smash. You know, we're feeding Mercury's ego at this point. <laughs> What Whoa, the hell? Down air challenging the air. Wow. I mean, it is Mario. We could see some hydro pumps uh, push offs off stage. Just don't do it with Flood after I said that Quite could do it. See? Okay, okay. The potential was there. Quite still is, uh, you know, trying to win Merc this Merc wants that spike. <gasps> oh, that would have killed him. <laughs> Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, we bye got bye. him. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Wow. Why does something in my brain tell me that Merc wants this spike? I mean, yeah. For uh, Sauce Mario, he's doing it for the boy. <laughs> That'd be cool, end off bracket with Well, that. he got it on stage what twice. Let's see hell? if he can carry it out. What do he... Merc. Oh I mean, my god, It's bro. Mario. You're going to show your hand one way or another, but, like, do you really want to challenge it? <laughs> oh, dear. Back throw. No, forward throw. Okay. Back throw, I think, would have... Uh, oh, what? my god. Happy fucking Mario Day, everyone. Happy Mario Day! <laughs>